Welcome to your new moon meditation for September. This new moon is housed in Virgo and it is the moon that is going to wax over the next two weeks and become the harvest moon of late September. Take a deep breath and exhale. Enter into this time that you are gifting yourself for a few moments of reflection and respite from the demands of everyday life. Let go of any tension that you feel anywhere in your body or anywhere in your soul. If there are worries or concerns in your inner world, in your inner life, consciously set them aside. Place them in a basket and know that there will be plenty of time later to go back to those questions and problems and concerns. But for right now, they'll be held safely in a basket off to the side so that you can experience a time of meditative rest and relaxation. Become aware of your breathing, the natural rhythm of the rise and fall of your shoulders as you breathe. And settle down in to your body. Open up your heart space And allow yourself a moment of gratitude for your body. This beautiful earthly container that holds your soul, that does amazing things even without your conscious awareness. Your heart is pumping, your lungs are breathing and so many other amazing systems within your body are working exactly as they should without any conscious effort from you. This body that is your home during your earthly journey is a wonderful container that holds you. So take a moment to be grateful for this beautiful body that is yours. As we breathe again, we slip down in to a deeper state of relaxation. We come to our internal home, our center within our center, a place where we live inside of ourselves. This new moon in September in the sign of Virgo is about details. It's about house and home and hearth and ordinary everyday tasks and how those tasks are a beautiful way of engaging with your external world. The rhythms and tasks of everyday life from making coffee or tea in the morning to folding laundry to uh, sweeping crumbs off a counter provide 
a comforting rhythm to our days. These are the ordinary moments that hold us close and provide a safe, repetitive structure to our days. And rather than being mundane or boring, these tasks can be seen as sacred as you care for yourself and the others in your closest circle, family, friends, partners, pets, all who are in your orbit on a daily basis. This is a good time to remember that the homey, homespun tasks of everyday life matter. So take a moment to be grateful for the ordinary. This dark new moon honors the home and the hearth and the home and the hearth within yourself. This is a new moon about gathering in what is coming to fruition and maturity. And it's also a time of planting seeds. This is the time when seeds are released in abundance, with joy, with reverence, with fecundity, with the hope of new life. These seeds that you plant now in your life, in your soul, in your work in the world, in your art, the things that you're dreaming and visioning for the future are things that will need patient endurance. And these seeds will need to survive the winter winds and the cold and the dark. So even while you are gathering in all that has come to fruition, all that has grown and been birthed in this light half of the year, you are gathering it in before the darkness comes, you are also planting seeds for the future. So let's enter in to this time of dual energies, of both gathering and scattering. And let's enter into that sense of dying and letting go. Your grip is loosening. It must loosen and your hands must open to allow the seeds to be scattered. Loss, but also profound hope is what we can feel at this time of the year both a slow ripening and gathering and a hopeful releasing and planting. So how do you meet yourself at this time of the year of dual energies? How do you find yourself moving through a season that energetically both demands gathering in a harvest and letting go. How are your edges expanding to accommodate this potent season of energies? How will you make time to come home to yourself to comfort yourself, to prepare your inner rooms for the harvest that's being brought in? And how will you prepare your heart for what must be set free and released on the wind to be carried off to where it belongs and where it must be planted? Take 
take a look at your inner landscape and see where there is work to be done. Are the furrows ready to receive new seeds in your inner fields? Have you prepared your heart to gather in the harvest? Have you created ways to store that harvest and preserve it so that you can use it in the coming months? What does harvest look like in your life right now? What are you harvesting? Take a moment to take stock of your inner rooms and see how you are preparing for the dark half of the year and how you are coming into an awareness of a time of rest and sinking down in to the deeper questions that you will have time to ponder in this slower moving dark half of the year. Take note of the feelings that rise, the thoughts that come, words or images or memories. See what's bubbling up and coming up to meet you right now at this moment on your journey. Take any of these thoughts or feelings, energetic states, symbols, colors, textures, fragrances, anything that comes up as you consider these dual energies of harvesting and releasing and make some art around those and see what wisdom they have for you as we move into the dark half of the year. Breathe deeply. Feel the rooted and centered feeling of being in your own internal home and how good it feels to be held in your center, in the place where you belong and feel most comfortable. <sighs> know that you can return to this place at any time. But for right now, begin to feel yourself back in ordinary time. Feel your body. Feel your feet on the floor. Become aware of the temperature of the room around you. Shake your hands a bit. Let your shoulders rise and fall and roll them back and open up that heart space. Open up your chest and your rib cage. Take a deep breath. <sighs> feel yourself prepared for the harvest and for the letting go. Open your eyes and gift yourself this weekend with some time to